What's up guys, it's Dinox706 here with another video of Batman Arkham Origins, hopefully the last one, because we're near the finale. And that was a lot of words in a lot of sentences of a lot of time. Now we're off to fight the Joker. Alright, he's not there. I guess he's through these doors. I might be able to. It might be an Easter egg. No. Nah. I'll have to join his party in a minute. Here we go. Kayo. Fatality. Final punch. <laughs> some help. More in that help. I asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stop his heart! That is funny. Good one, Bats! <laughs> this is going to be fun! <laughs> Barbara Gordon in this game, she doesn't look like the real Batgirl. It's kind of stupid. What's going on? 
don't tell me you might come. Oh, good. There is still one more cutscene, so you guys just have to wait that long. It's only like a, it's still in about five minutes or so, so you can skip ahead and have a look for it. And hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. It took 29 parts, but we finally did it. Tomorrow I'll do another start a new Let's Play, Sonic Generations, as you guys all heard me from one of my earlier videos. So come in next time to see Sonic Generations and watch me speed through that. That's going to be pretty quickly. Because it's probably only going to take me six or eight parts. Don't get me right on that because I might take 12. But there's only 12 levels in the game, so... A whole level probably takes... Because there's two arcs. Oh wait, here comes a cutscene. I can hear it in the background. Oh, just a song. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind? I think we get it, Draco. And guys, if you don't really like this Joker, you're going to have to put up with him for the movie, The Assault on Arkham. But he actually sounds heaps better than this one. He's almost Mark Hamill Joker. Oh wait, cold, cold heart. Joker just, that's an Easter egg guys, cold, cold heart, that's the next DLC in the franchise, it comes out pretty soon, I think it's the 22nd, that was an Easter egg, he mentions cold, cold heart, DLC. Hmm. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? What about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy. But I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. 
is about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened, so we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. <laughs> Better them than me. True, if I'm not true. So I hope you guys enjoyed that let's play. Um, the cutscene shouldn't be too much longer. I think I could skip this. I'm scared if I do know the cutscene's going to get out. But if it does, um, I'll see. New game plus unlocked. Cool. After enough Batman outfits. Alright. Oh, here we go. Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. And guys, to let you guys know what that was, it's meaning for the Assault on Arkham movie for the Suicide Squad. He's not going to be in there. He's getting replaced with Deadshot. It's been oh. a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you for our breakfast. Yum. Milkshakes. Well, guys, I should get, I'll go to a gargoyle and end this because that's what Batman does in his time in Batman's years and all that stuff, he goes to gargoyles and hangs off them and that's his pose. Or it might be Robin's, but either way, it's one pose. So, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I have another one by tomorrow, I've just got to look for this gargoyle. Hope there's one on this side of the map. There should be, there's heaps of gargoyles, I've seen heaps of them. Be stupid if there isn't one. If I can't, I'll just end it. Because what's the point? Oh, yeah, there's one in here. Somewhere. Oh, no, it's not around here. It's around here somewhere. I remember seeing one once while. There's a gargoyle. Well, we're going to finish this Let's Play on a gargoyle. Doing the Batman pose. Well, if you guys want to see more, put a comment in there. So, you guys... Oh, which side should I do it on? Looks better looking into that way. So, you guys have been doomed. Hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. And if you want to see more, like me taking down Deadshot, and what's that assassin's name? I'm just going to find out. 
What's her name? Shiva. If you guys want me to do that, it's fine with me. I will do it just for you guys. So, you guys have been doomed. See you guys later. Bye.